In this video, we will cover the steering profile screen in the steering control module. Understanding the details of a steering profile will aid in auto steer operation and troubleshooting. To access the steering profile screen, first tap on the setup wrench on the home screen. Then tap GPS guidance setup. Verify Steer Command Z2 Steady Steer is selected from the steering drop down menu. Then tap the wrench. Next, select your vehicle from the list, or you can select none. Tap the green check. Once you are in the Steer Command Settings screen, tap Manage Profiles. Inside the Steering Profile screen, there are three main areas Created Profiles, Profile Details, and a column of buttons to perform specific functions. With any given profile highlighted, we can view valuable details pertaining to that specific profile. Details like if that profile is calibrated, wheelbase, antenna offsets, controller offsets, and controller orientation. The profile that has the blue arrow next to it is the active steering profile for the steering control module. To make a new profile active, simply highlight a different profile, then tap Make Active. Or, as you select a different vehicle or configuration when starting an event, the profile that is tied to that vehicle will automatically be set to active. If you make a profile active that has different offsets than the vehicle it is tied to, you will receive a vehicle mismatch message. If you believe you selected the wrong profile, tap the red X. Otherwise, tap the green check and you will be asked to confirm which set of offsets to use for both the display and steering controller. If a profile is no longer needed, you can highlight it, then tap delete. Please note, you cannot delete the active profile. You can also rename an existing profile and edit the controller offsets from this screen. To export a profile, insert a USB into the display, highlight a profile from the list, then tap Export. This will create an AG steer file on your USB device. All offsets, tuning parameters, and the full calibration will be contained in the AG steer file. Tap the green check. Exporting a profile may be useful for keeping a backup of your calibrated vehicle or Ag Leader Tech Support may request the profile if an issue should arise. To import a profile, tap Import, select the appropriate Ag Steer file from your USB device, then tap the green check. After importing, no further calibrations are required since the steering control module assumes it is mounted in the same location for that vehicle. If it is moved, a SCM orientation calibration will be required. Lastly, to copy a profile, highlight one from the list, then tap Copy. Give the copied profile a unique name, then tap the green check. Copied profiles will be identical at first, but each will retain their own tuning parameters and kickout setting. Therefore, copying a profile may be useful in several situations. For example, if this John Deere 8330 vehicle has two growers driving during planting season, one grower may prefer an easier kickout and a more aggressive approach angle parameter when auto steering. Then, when each grower begins to operate the 8330, all they have to do is make their profile active to utilize their auto steering preferences. Now, you will be able to confidently manage your steering controller profiles for Steer Command Z2 and Steady Steer. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.